girlfriend last week and you don't even see pissed off about it whoa what the hey what's up you guys Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Captain America red onslaught build a figure waves Captain America gotta give a big thanks to comic and figure addicts make sure I got a hold of these figures if you're in the Bay Area go ahead and check them out otherwise you can get this wave right now at big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below very curious about this figure we'll see once I open it anyway on the side you can see a cool image of cap right over there and you can see Cap takes up the whole back of the packaging. There's the other figures from the wave. Then there's a read-up on Cap. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And then on this side, you get the same image of Captain America. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is Captain America out of the packaging. Is this my new favorite Captain America? Is this the Captain America figure that will finally replace the Toy Biz face-off two-pack Captain America? No. I'm sorry, I don't like the figure that much. I think it's a good figure for the most part, but there's a lot of things about it that really bother me. I do like the reuse of this Craven body mold though, I really like that. Uh, but the accessories, I mean, I like the ability to switch this guy over to Cap Wolf. I think that is very cool. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. But overall, there's just so many little things about the figure that bother me that it just, I, I just can't say I'm really having a great time with this figure. So here's what's included with the figure minus the Build-A-Figure piece. We'll take a closer look at the Cap Wolf head, which I do like. Everything else I have a problem with. These straps right over here, I guess they're painted pretty well. You can see the silver, you know, and you get some nice, you know, seams right there sculpted in it. So it's not like terribly made. But as far as the functionality goes, getting these around his shoulders. So this is supposed to be, oh, I got it on the other side. Uh, yeah, this you're supposed to put these on right over here. And it works out okay if you have the arms all the way down like this, the way I have him posed. But as soon as you move one of his arms out, they start sliding all over the place. And this is supposed to be, you know, you can have Cap's shield just plugged into the very back over here as you saw the whole pig. And it just doesn't work out. This, this doesn't really function really well. So that is very annoying. Uh, I appreciate the effort though, but it doesn't really work out. Uh, second off, the shield. When I had reviewed Taskmaster, I thought this was a shield that we'd seen before, but no. I'm pretty sure this is brand new. I don't remember seeing this shield on any other figure aside from the Taskmaster. And I don't like it. I don't think it fits into scale with the figure very well at all. I just feel like it's way too small. Actually, if you compare this shield to the shield that we've gotten with the Marvel Now Captain America, you can see that this shield's smaller than this one over here. And the Marvel Now Captain America is definitely a smaller figure compared to this cap. So that's frustrating. And then the hands. Uh, if we're going to have two options, right? I mean, why don't we have any werewolf hands? And then these hands right here are kind of useless for Captain America. What, what's he holding? He has a shield on his wrist. I want punching fists, right? Why don't we have some punching fists? There's no gap between the fingers and the thumbs on both of these, so he cannot grip the shield at all. We do get a finger pointing one right there, and we do get a uh, backhanded one. What I really think would have been best is if they'd given us a pair of fisted hands and then a pair of werewolf hands, so he could have had claws or something like that. That would have been awesome. So here's looking at the regular Captain America head sculpt, which I really can't complain about. The bone structure of the face matches the other Captain Americas that we've gotten from Hasbro, so I think it looks alright. A big old fat A in the middle of his forehead right there. And I think the paint for the eyebrows came out looking good. I like the flesh tone. The eye paint itself came out nice. It is a male figure, so the eyes are going to come out straight. And on the side, you can see the wings look pretty good. The ears look all right. A little splotchy on the other side, though, I remember. Yeah, a little bit more splotchy, but it's still okay. Nothing to really complain about. That head sculpt. Now, popping this off is pretty easy, and then popping on Cap Wolf right on. I love seeing obscure versions of the characters. To be honest with you, I wasn't very familiar with Cap Wolf. I did some research, though, and looked up the story and everything like that. Uh, it's pretty cool that he fights Wolverine. I liked that a lot. But anyway, looking at this, I think it looks really cool how it's all torn up and everything and really nice looking teeth over here. 
I don't know, I think it's a pretty good looking werewolf. The neck does look a little bit on the long side when you put this on here, but still, I think it's pretty good. I just love that they did this. A little bit of brown seeping through though right there, I noticed that. Now looking at the body, I feel like it's just too much to ask for from Hasbro to get us some chain mail on our Captain America figures. We are not ever going to get a sculpted chain mail for Cap, I think. It's just never going to happen. I do like this body mold, however, but I would prefer to see a chain mail Captain America. And then same deal that we had gotten before with Kraven. Uh, there is some rub right over here up at the top and then even at the bottom right there you can see that there's a lot of chipping and rub and it looks like this thing's just getting torn to shreds every time I move these shoulder joints around so that's annoying. Star came out looking okay. A little fuzzy right here and right here but for the most part it's alright. Same thing with the back. And then the red and white stripes look pretty good. The white looks pretty solid. I like the way these gloves are sculpted. I like that we have the belt. Then the legs, there's not a whole lot to mention, you know, there's no shadowing effect on the figure or anything like that. We're all getting single tones right here. Boots look alright, and he does have the peg holes at the bottom of his feet. And then if you did want to take the Steve Rogers figure's head and put it right on there, it does fit, but again, that long neck looks a little bit weird. Let's see, it does look a little bit less weird as you zoom out. Now for the Catwolf head articulation, you can only move the head upwards that much, and it can move down, and moves side to side okay, and no real head pivot over there. Now putting on the regular Captain America head sculpt right here, the head will look up further, so I like that. Can look up some, and it does look down very far, side to side movement as well, and uh, not really any pivot. The shoulders can only move outward that much, and they can move forward. You get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, rotates at the wrist, hinges up and down. He does have the ab crunch, moves back, waist swivel. This belt is a separate piece, so you want to shift it downward and then move the waist. Hips move outward that much. He kicks forward, he kicks back, he has upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankles move down, up, and the ankle pivot. And the this figure you can see Cap is standing just a little over six and a half inches tall and then with the Cap Wolf head it's just a little bit taller. Then here's Captain America next to our Toy Biz face off Cap and then we have the Marvel Now Captain America and Ultimate Captain America and it looks like he's definitely standing much taller than face off in the Marvel Now version but comparing him side by side with the Ultimate Cap they look like they're much closer in height even though the shoulders are a little bit higher on this guy over here. Then here's our new Captain America compared to some other Hasbro Avengers figures we have the STCC exclusive Thor with the wrong Mjolnir. We have the Bleeding Edge Iron Man with the added paint, custom work by Shortness Prime, and then we have the Marvel Now Hulk. I think he fits into scale very well with the Thor and the Hulk over here, but finding an Iron Man that fits into scale with him is tricky. I feel like Iron Man should be taller than Captain America. I think this is my tallest Iron Man figure that I have, especially from Hasbro, and they stand at exactly the same height. And then here's Cap next to the other two figures from the Wave, which I've already reviewed, and thanks to somebody leaving a comment saying that I should put the White Vision Cap on the Taskmaster to see how that looks. Unfortunately, it's still very transparent, but it looks pretty good. Just needs more white paint, and it does kind of fit on there, but these straps kind of knock it off. But I guess you could take these off that off of there. Yeah, it's still kind of a flimsy fit, but it actually doesn't really look too bad. I wish they really included a white cape, even though there's no version that really looks like this. And then here's Captain America next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. <clears throat> you know, the straps don't really work on that thing, and it is too small for you. Shoot, I would give that thing away, you know? It looks like a letdown to me. Oh, sweet! Finally! Uh... Then here's our new Captain America figure holding the face off Captain America shield, and that looks so much better to me. That just fits with the figure. I just really like that a lot more so. And I really love that we get the option to have Cap Wolf with this. It's almost like Hasbro knows that we already have a lot of Captain America figures in our collection. I really wish I liked this figure more, but I'll still say it's not a bad figure. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click this box right over here if you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you want to see my review on the Hot Toys video, Click that button over there if you want to see my review on the Marvel Legends Taskmaster Go ahead and hit that button over there and check out shardimusprime.net We have some shirts for sale over there So if you want to get the knot dolls or the give it ankle pivots, they are available And if you want to see a photo gallery of images from this review go to marvelousnews.com I'll catch you guys later. Peace! this